What is going on guys? It's the Mad Dragon. We are back in some Grounded today. I enjoyed doing the last episode so much I couldn't wait to get back in. So I didn't know what to do today. I think we're going to try and work out what to do with that treasure chest and what we're going to try and do with that little base that's over here. If you remember there was sort of a second base under the water that I didn't really know what was going on with it. So I have been playing a little bit off camera. Uh, I was getting some more clay for my big castle build which has been going for like six months and I've still never finished. So I've been around a little bit. I did have a look in the water. Something that did interest me that some of you may not know about or may not have seen. I came down here to go past my old burglary friend and found there's a new little entrance way you can go down down here. And I did go a little bit of the way, but I haven't gone the uh, the full distance. So I've made a couple of slime lanterns. I've got to try and remember where it was now. I believe it was all the way down in the water. There you are. So if you go down into the water over here, there's actually like a, a hole in the ground from the science lab. Which goes down there. So I have made a bunch of these lanterns. Right, we'll check the slime lanterns on. And I want to go see what's down this hole. Because i genuinely not 100% sure where this goes. I sort of swam down this. Oh, it says there's a scabby somewhere nearby as well. Keep an eye out for that. Uh, this does look okay. There's some pods that's been destroyed. I did come about this far and there was some uh, raw science and stuff about. So if any of you are looking for some raw science, that's a place to go. Whatever noise that was in the background. Didn't like the sound of that. Uh, oh my goodness, well, this goes on for a long time. Luckily, I do have a lot of air. Nothing that way. Nope. Okay, the scabby disappeared. Uh, okay, let's go this way. What have we got going on here? Uh, some sort of tunnel. What is that? Oh, it's one of those spiders. <laughs> Didn't like the look of that. Okay, we have a backpack. Feather arrows and venom arrows. Okay. Fair enough. Is that a venom arrow? Just discovered a venom. I've definitely made the... Oh, I made gas arrows before. Maybe I've never made a venom arrow. Is that a new thing? Maybe that is a new thing. Okay, there's something new. Uh, where was I going back along here? I can't even remember. Wait, was this the way I came? Or not? I've got so lost in here. I did see like a little divider bit with the tree. Oh, where, where did I come from, guys? <laughs> I've got a hundred seconds of air. I need to do something relatively quickly. Uh, oh, I've come all the way back here. Okay, I need to go quickly. I'm not sure where the other side goes to. Uh, let's go, 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 go. 90 seconds. I uh, can't go that way. So I can go right here. Where does right here go to? Let's keep going through this tunnel. I hope this doesn't go on for enormously longer. Okay, still going, still going. Uh, there's some clay. Spider. Uh, where do I go? Oh, okay, there's another there's another little tunnel. Okay, this is this goes on forever. Some more clay. I'm down to a minute. Okay, more spiders. Can't see anymore. Keep going. Let's keep going. Uh, back to clay. Where on earth does this thing lead to? This goes on forever. I really hope I haven't got turned around again here. I think I might have actually turned around. I think I have turned around again. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can get out to the other side. Oh, I might just about be able to get all the way back out. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Going backwards is a lot harder. Don't run out of stamina now. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, that went badly. Uh, okay, so we're going to go back down. Try that again. Somehow I got turned around at the bottom there. This is a real n nightmare of a cave system to try and get through here. Okay, this... Oh, the scabby's around here somewhere. Ah, oh, there! Found it. Shine bright. A little bit of uh, Rihanna for you there. Shine bright like a diamond. Right, where are we off to? Is that the way I came? Oh, I got, I've got so lost. No, I go through this thing. <laughs> Do not stop to turn around in this little cave underwater, apparently, is the... The way to do it, let's keep going forward. Right, turn right. I'm just going to keep going forwards and I'm going to keep an eye out ahead of me. Let's keep going. So I came down here and then there was the clay. And there is another tunnel somewhere up here. Okay, let's keep going forward. Clay. Uh, some algae. I don't want to pick up any of the algae. Uh, let's keep swimming. You're just a hole. You go upwards. Uh, where are we now? Oh, are we in the pond? 
Oh, we're back in the pond. <laughs> I thought that was going to lead to our interesting. Okay, so apparently there are little secret entrances. So that's what I'm thinking. I have to go and find a tunnel like this to get into that other base we haven't found an entrance to. Uh, where did I just come from? Was it here I just came from? Yes, it must have been from there that I just came from. Um, but in order to get into that secondary base, there must be a second little cave or something somewhere to get into. Um, where is it? There it is. So is there any sort of holes in the ground that I can get into? There's a couple of little, like, entrances that just aren't open. And I can... It says there's, like, raw science. So it must be unlockable. And there's a button and everything in there. Oh, okay. Those stupid spiders. <laughs> Gonna start doing damage to me. Leave me alone, spider. Okay, let's go for a little swim over this way. What's over this way? I'm looking for more cave systems. Oh, there's some air. I probably could have used the air. Uh, nothing under there. Nothing that way. The reason I went that way in the first place is because I tried to think maybe there was a way to get from Burgle through to the secondary base. I thought maybe they'd made a, a tunnel, but I didn't think it would go underwater. And then I found that little hole and sort of went for a, an investigation. Okay, so there's nothing particularly interesting. Where is this raw science it's claiming? The only other thought I had is that maybe there is a way underneath where this is. Where's that entrance, actually? Let's go down this way. Because it's so close. It's only there compared to... There's the dome. So the little cave that you go into under the water must be nearby. So maybe there's a way to get it to... Uh, in fact, let's turn that off so I don't waste some of my lantern. Um, I thought maybe there was a way to get into it from here. Let's have a look. Let's go back this way. I don't think there was anything to do with any of this. I think this was just a standard... What is that? <laughs> some yoga or something. Let's go. <laughs> I've never looked at these monitors before. Yeah, get some curls in. What's going on over here? Oh, the same, same images. Why is that on the TVs? Who knows? That is what the developers thought was, uh, was necessary there. Apparently, I, there is raw science nearby. I can't see any sort of hanging about. So, let's go jump down. Uh... And we can try and find how to get back into that little cave that was underneath. And my theory is maybe there's a hole or something somewhere in the cave that allows me to get there. So let's have a dive down. The only problem is that I, I'm not 100% sure which way the base is from when I'm inside this cave. Uh, we can go for a little scout around though. So that was the... Oh, that's like the tubes. Let's get our uh, let's get our slime lantern out. Let's go for a little peruse around and see what we can find here. Uh, is that like a little hole? It looks like a little bit cave esque. Uh, oh, okay, it actually is. Uh, okay, where are we going here? Let's see what's down the tunnel. Okay, this is a long tunnel. Okay, let's keep going. I'm getting chased by something from somewhere, which is always fun. Please don't kill me. Oh, there's some air bubbles here. Let's uh, hover over the air bubbles for a second. I might actually use my bandage. <laughs> I do not want to get killed down here and have a spider. Right, we've got some air. Uh, oh! That's the key! Mossy key. Is that the key for the, the treasure chest? Oh my... Why are there so many spiders down here? <laughs> uh, is there anything else in here? Oh, well, there we go. Well, we fell. Oh, that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be to try and find. I, I thought the key would be in the base. Okay, I'm stuck. Okay, I'm stuck on a lot of things. Okay, this is a very dangerous area. And the spiders are everywhere trying to kill me. It doesn't look like there's anything else in here. But we have the key. So there's a positive. Well, we've made great progress today already. We found a backpack. We found a key. What are we, like 10 minutes in? This is great. Right, let's keep going. Let's get out of here. I do not want my lantern to run out down here, because that would not be fun. So we've got the key so we can do the chest. Um, while I've got the lantern still going for the second, let's keep going along over here. And see if there's anything we can... Uh, any more little cave systems on the go. Anything around. 
doesn't look like it. Let's keep going. Or in the far corner, maybe. I don't trust that there's not a secret cave somewhere. What's going on back here? Nothing back here. Yeah, I should probably go towards the uh, the main hub and try and find out what direction it's actually towards. It's back towards my house, I think, wasn't it? When we were looking from the dome. It was like over here. Or maybe it's on the completely other side to where I am then. I also got to pay attention to my breath. I do not want to die down here because I don't know how I'm going to get my stuff back with great ease. Uh, is that just the way out? I think this is just the way out that I used to come in from. Uh, I think so. Right, let's turn that off. Don't want to waste any of my lantern, but I will take more air because air is important. Not just in the game, in every aspect of life. <laughs> Okay, let's get some air. I basically need to go into that cave and sort of swim towards my base from being under there. Oh, there's another scabby somewhere, apparently. Uh, <laughs> I've lost my enormous hole that I was swimming through. Go over here, there we go. Is it? No. Where have I gone? Have I lost the giant cave system? Okay. There's a scabby... So there's like some sort of fan. So this is still this base that I haven't got into. Oh, what's that? Oh wait, or is this the base I have got into? What are you? There's a... That looks like a door. Is that the main door that I go into? Okay, I need to... Let's have a look. Let's have a look on the map. So, what am I near? Absolutely nothing. What does it take to make one of those buoyant markers? Probably not a good idea just to do this while I'm... Uh... Oh, so many things. <laughs> uh, okay. I kind of want to build a buoyant marker over this thing. And then I'll try and find the cave under the water. Because that looks like an open hatch to me. Can I get into there? I don't think this is the same building I've already been in. No, because there's a button there to open a door. Okay, there lo that looks like an open hatch, so how do I get there? Okay, I'm going to go directly up from here. It's under this lily pad. Which isn't going to be of any use to be in the cave, but I can sort of understand where it will be a little bit better from here. It's on a bunch of lily pads that have absolutely no discernible features. Okay, guys, pay attention to where it is on the map. We are sort of... Okay, if we highlight that, we are pretty much in line with the O in OS at the top. When we hover over this thing. That's how I'm going to try and remember it. Okay, let's... Uh... Oh, I thought that was telling me I was running out of air then. I, th I thought I was out of the water. Okay, let's go back down. Let's try and find my, uh, my little ditch again, wherever it's gone. I've completely lost the... Uh... The hole somewhere. I thought it was over here. And it just isn't. <laughs> uh, there it is. Okay, right. Let's go down and around. So maybe it's on the roof. I was looking at the wall. Okay. Let's uh, get our little slime. Th oh! Oh! <laughs> is that the one I was looking at? If we hover over this, we're over the O. Yes. So, there's another entrance to this building that I can't get into. <laughs> what is going on? I found three different entrances to this base and none of them let you in. Okay, so let's search over here for a second. Is there any cave systems? There's another spider. There's so many spiders. They've definitely increased the amount of the water spiders in this lake now. They are everywhere. I mean, it's not going to be further down, is it? It must be on the roof, if there is a way in. I thought maybe you'd be able to travel up through there or something. And I'm also really worried that there is just a really easy way to get in. I've just never seen it. Was there anything to do down here? Maybe there was a second way I could have gone here. Like This all looks like it's been broken. 
There's no, like, secondary cave that I could have gone through. I just come down and go back up, it looks like. I mean, that's relatively easy. There's still no secondary slime lantern depleted. Oh, there's a, uh, a thing somewhere. A scabby. Oh! Okay, we found a thing. Let's, uh... Oh, still going. Apparently I have no longer got my, uh, rock cracker ability on. Oh, I still can't get through. I'll do you as well then. Let's go get a scabby. So there we are. If anyone's wanting a, a secret scabby, there's one hidden behind some clay. Over here. Pick that one up. Ginger spice. Okay, so we've got a couple of new scabbies. Uh, I don't know where all the pieces of clay went to. Ah, there they are. All appear. You will be useful for my castle. <laughs> if anyone hasn't seen any of the castle builds on the channel, there is. Uh, we've been working on a giant castle for the longest time. And clay is not an easy resource to come across. So I'm glad they've definitely fixed a lot of the clay spawns as well in the water. So I've actually gathered a whole bunch of clay. So hopefully the next episode of this I do could actually be finishing that castle off. Which I'm really looking forward to. I can't do anything there. Like, I am on some raw science, like, right here. Where is that raw science? That must be further. Oh, I can hear it. What? <laughs> Where is that raw science? Where, where is this entrance to this base? I literally cannot find anything that suggests there's a... I mean, this is where I just was. None of these tunnels led anywhere, as far as I'm aware. Uh, nothing down there. Okay, let's go open the treasure chest. Maybe there's something in the treasure chest that allows you to get into the other base. Maybe that's a thing. I did not consider that. Let's go... I assume I just have the key on me. I assume it wasn't like a held item. So, let's go check out this chest. See what this does for us. Uh, where is the chest? It's a big, giant wooden chest. You should be able to see it with great ease. There it is. Let's go for a swim. Oh, I've run out of water now as well, so my thing is going to slowly increase back up. So let's give this a lock. And we will open. Oh, we got a... Oh, the, another burgle chip. Oh. Okay, right, hang on. So first of all, I need to be smart about this. I need to go and see Burgle and get the, uh, the quest for that burgle chip because now that I know that's in here I didn't actually know there was another chip right guys let's <laughs> let's quickly go back to burger we'll get some more air and then we can come and get uh, get some more raw science because it'd be able to buy some more things then that makes some sense to me okay right we're into the daytime let's go see burgle and see what he's got for us on the way uh, oh I probably should have had some <laughs> food and water that probably would have been good I'm pretty sure I've still got one of those nutri green bars or whatever it is in the in the backpack I should be okay uh, I quickly made some more slime lanterns so we should be able to see in the dark I mean that'll be useful let's do some hippity hops give me a quest burgle and give me 10,000 raw science hello burgle it is nice to see a three bold quest uh, there we go oh a thousand you only get a thousand for it well I'll take it why not uh, I could probably make an ant helmet at some point. There we go. Right, let's go get the sunken treasure chip. As if you have to go find a secret key for that and you only get uh, you only get a thousand. Okay, so we'll go and uh, dive back down to that treasure chest. I'm actually wondering if they've done anything with the uh, the sort of big ornament. I haven't gone and looked at that in the last, like, two videos. I haven't actually gone and checked it out. Maybe we'll go check that out super quick. Where is it there? I think it's sort of on the way to the dinosaur. I don't know which way is quicker. Is it quicker to swim? It's probably just quicker to swim rather than going all the way back at my house, back to the zipline. 
Um, it doesn't look like there's anything particularly different, but maybe they've changed something on the inside. I don't know. Let's do some jumps. Bloom. There we go. So I think the dinosaur's down below me somewhere. Um, oh, in fact, I think there was some... Was there raw science underneath the, the ornament thing that maybe I haven't got now because my save file has been reinstated and everything's changed about a bit? Oh, yep, yeah, there you go. Raw science. Oh, there's a... Uh, could hatch. How do I open the hatch? Hello, Mr. Tadpole. Oosh. <laughs> oh. Wait, what? Wait, that just opened. Uh, okay. What? Wait, hang on. Oh, no way. Does that other base just have hatches that just open up if you're near them? There's me searching ages for, like, a button. Raw science. Yeah, how do I get into there? What's Oh, ooh, hang on. What's going on here? Right. Uh, shrink. Treasure. Things. Yep. Okay, cool. Someone's doing some stuff with the, uh, the glow sticks. You're locked. Are you? Yes. How do I open you? Is there a button? Somewhere? Maybe? Possibly? Is there... A way in to there? I am absolutely gobsmacked to this. So, uh, so... Oh, what's this? Is it just quartzite? Oh, well, I'll take quartzite if it's free. Why not? Take some quartzite things. So, oh, is that other base actually just got bits that open up? And I've spent ages looking around for, like, little cave systems and holes and secret ways. Where does this even lead, then? So it should come quite high back up. It's sort of like over this way. Is there another way in? Is there like a a hole somewhere here? Like a little cave that I could sneak into? Uh, that looks like a pretty solid rock face there. Anything lower down maybe? Oh, that's where the dinosaur is. Is there something back up from the dinosaur, maybe? Let's have a swim down here. What if I go, like, back towards it here? Is there some other tunnel? Hello, Mr. Dinosaur. Uh, eelgrass, don't care. I'm beginning to lose vision. I don't know how dark it is for you guys. I'll put a slime lens on. Uh... Is there, like, a little cave anywhere to get up to there? No, because it looks like there's a second part to that base, but I don't know how to interact with it. Right, let's go to this treasure chest. We'll take our thousand raw science. We've then got an extra burgle chip we can take back to burgle. And then I want to go back to that stupid base to see if I can uh, <laughs> actually get in. I mean, this looks cool, doesn't it? Look at this. Yeah, get in there. We'll get into that treasure chest. Okay, let's grab ourselves a burgle chip. Whoop, I shouldn't be doing this in third person. I thought it would look cooler. I was right. Pick it. What are you doing? <laughs> Max, we don't have the air for this. Boom, there we go. Right, we've got that to take back to burgle. Uh, let's go back out of here. I wonder what that's going to give us then. There must be even more things we can unlock from burgle at this point. Uh, I might even need to try and grab some air. If I can. Oh, I missed it. Is there going to be another air bubble? I sh yes, there is. Don't miss that one. <laughs> That's going to keep us alive. Let's get back out of here. Right, so there's something else to do with that ornament that I need to try and work out now as well. Uh, we'll get out from dinosaur land over here. Oh, wait. Oh, I should have done. <laughs> That's the one I should have done. I should have checked the one below here. Remember there was that little one we found uh, on the roof? I wonder if that opens up. If you're just standing near it or something. Uh, oh, there's another Koi scale. I actually have no idea now what you use these scales for. Once you build the armor, uh, you feel like you've pretty much built everything with them. But you can never be too careful. We might as well pick them up if we see them. Let's go swimming. Do, 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 do. Okay, can we use this little jet propulsion? Whoosh. There we go. Love these things. These are great. Uh, do it. It'd be funny if you could just build these for your base, generally. <laughs> Fly about a bit. Okay. Uh, I've probably still got enough air for a little bit. Let's 
go for a little swim. Oh, I actually got a little push there from that one as well. Right. Where was that little roof bit? You remember where that was, guys? There it is. Right. Let's see if we just go near this if it opens. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I spent so long trying to work out how to get into these bases, and it just does that. Right, let's turn you off. Uh, got another scabby. It's loads of scabbies. Holly Dazzle. I haven't actually looked at any of these. Should we have a look at what they look like? I haven't actually checked any of these guys out. Uh, what have we picked up today? I don't even remember. Look how many of these we have now. Okay, that was not clever of me. Oh, I can't even go upwards. Okay, uh, what was the first one we got? We got Shine Bright. That was quite nice, actually. A bit of a yellowy one. That might be. Uh, that might be one I'll keep. Oh, okay. Nope. Come on. Ginger spice. Oh, all sorts of orange. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm a fan of the sort of orangey brown uh, menu system. And then, oh, this, <laughs> this is a very clunky system. Holly dazzle. Uh, oh, like brown and green. I I quite like the. Uh, the shine bright. I thought the shine bright was nice. A bit blue on the go here. Yeah, I like this one. Right, let's go with this. Right. Uh, pond research note. Let's have a look what's in the pond research note. As we sit perched in the cliff face down here, away from the street noise and persuasive fauna, pervasive <laughs> and pervasive fauna, it seems we can do some real long-term undisturbed work. Okay, Majestic Sanky Koi lives in the pond. Oh yeah, the Koi is also stuck in the wall in my game. <laughs> That's why I haven't died. I did realise earlier on, I was like, I haven't died at all from that stupid fish. Uh, but it's because he's stuck in the wall, so he won't bother me for a little while. We could harness the cycle and outputs, metroscope, uh, we can draw in schematics and turn it out. Okay. All in this pond. So, the pond is a, uh, a breeding ground for what they want to accomplish. What do you think? Oh, there's another scale. I will take a scale. Okay. What's going on in here? Oh, yep, there's the fan. Yes, this is the base I wanted to get. I cannot believe there was just a door you could open by just being near it. And I found it already earlier in this episode and I didn't get it. Okay, we're in here now. Uh, I don't think we have anything to analyse, do we? Nope. Okay. Back in the water. Let's keep on going. Oh, it just comes out. So this one as well. This one as well just opened if you were just near it. <laughs> uh, it's a bit awkward to get it to work. If you're like too close or not close enough, it doesn't really open. But I cannot believe that. I just never considered the idea that you just had to be near it for it to, uh, to open. Is there really nothing else in here? Some sort of fan system there as well. That was definitely the window I looked through. I can't do anything with any of these control points. There's really nothing else in here. Just that one note and a uh, and a scabby. Okay. Now, now that I'm thinking about this, I'm wondering: Did I see another door somewhere else? Because I feel like there was this entrance to this base. What was the one on? the side of the wall. Where's the little glass bit to? Look into it. I take it that door just opens as well. <laughs> oh, there's my stuck fish. Look at him having a great time. Just stuck over there. Let's see if this door just opens as I swim up to it. <laughs> yep, absolutely. <laughs> I spent like a good half hour looking for Tunnels and caves and everything. Not to be. Right. Oh, this one's actually sunk. We're still swimming in this side. This one. Uh, okay. We've had a bit of a collapse over there. Oh, you're locked. Interesting. It looks like there's some sort of control panels. We can hear some raw science. Raw science. Uh, anything else of interest here? 
I mean, they look a little bit pushable. How do we unlock you? So there is still some more things to look at. There was this door here, and there was the one in the other base under the ornament that had a... That also got purple arrows on it. Does that mean anything? So there are still some locked doors that I can't seem to uh, work out what to do with them. It doesn't look like there's anything... Unless you can hit those buttons. Oh, there's a big button there. How do I... Oh, okay, so there is, there is something more to do. I'm just not sure how to get in there. But we made good progress today. At least we managed to find that bit out. Right, let's take this chip back to Burgle. And see what Burgle's going to give us for this chip. Got to make sure there's no wolf spiders about. So if you remember a couple of episodes ago, my wolf spider got stuck underneath the ground <laughs> that lives under the tree. And the way they fixed that in the game is they've just spawned a second one there. And the other one got out of the ground. So there's now two wolf spiders underneath my tree, which is going to be fun to deal with at some point. Uh, okay, yes. Okay, we got another burgle chip done. What can I uh, buy off you now, burgle? Right, we already had all the sign sets. Flip-flops upgrade, interesting. Load to where to swim even faster. And the diving lantern upgrade, that sounds useful. Oh, splat burst, a bomb that's covered in sticky substance attaches to things first, it hits. Ooh, okay. I don't really use the bombs a whole lot. I'm gonna get the, uh, the diving upgrade. It's a little bit annoying, I don't quite have enough for the fin flops at the same time. Um, I wonder if that crafts a whole nother thing now. I wonder if it's going to go up to a Slime Lantern Plus. Yes. So that's become a Slime Lantern Plus, but I've already got a bunch of Slime Lanterns. So they don't count as uh, as plus ones. That's annoying. Although, do I really need them now? Now I'm thinking about it. Do I actually need my other Slime Lanterns? Because I have now know about that base. There's still more, though. There's still power things. Utilize all oh, these all have arrows pointing on the purple ones. Push, can't push any of them or you. Hmm. So there is still more to find, but I'm quite glad we managed to get quite a lot of that done. We have found a couple of the old bases. We found some secretive doors. Uh, oh, I'm actually running out of food. I didn't even realize. Let's have some food. Oh, my health is all the way down as well. Superb. Let's use the bandage that we picked up for free, because why not? We'll hopefully try and recover a bit of health. I'm still not convinced there isn't more to do with this base, but I don't know what to do, because the actual power button... None of the glass is smashed, is it? No. The actual door is locked, but the power button is there. So there must be a, a, a second button you have to push in order to get that to unlock. Let's just go back in here real quick and then I might go inside the main dome and see if I can find anything. Because there, there must be something else because that's there's now two doors that have extra things you have to unlock on them. Uh, so there's definitely nothing in here. There's no power cables or like a drainage system maybe to get rid of all the water. You don't go anywhere, do you? No. That looks all pretty blocked off. But there is a button that I want to push. So let's go check out the dome. And see if there's anything in the dome that's relevant to maybe changing where the power goes to or something, maybe. Nothing there. Oh! Another log. Practical Technologies, Dr. Wendell Tully, Science Division, log 88.07.01. First test demonstration of the spacer. Director Hubert Picon in attendance. Begin recording. Everyone, thank you for coming. Today, I will show you nothing less than a quantum leap forward in technology. This is the spacer. It is a machine that has the power to shrink any object many times over, unleashing the power of the miniature world. Now, I'm sure that some of you will be skeptical, 
And I have no doubt that a demonstration of this device will show you a vision of the future. Of Ominent's future. Of our future. Now, if you will all put on your peeper goggles, I'll begin the demonstration. Behold, the future! I assure you. Just give me a moment. I, I can fix this. I can fix this. Okay, so that sounded like that went in bad. And in the meantime, we found some muscle sprouts. What's going on here? You can use them in a smoothie. Edible hybrid Brussels sprouts. Chewy muscle flaps. Recipe and flex. Restores hunger when eaten, but also causes pain. Sprouts giveth and sprouts taketh away. I mean, we'll take some sprouts. Why not? Like, this, we might as well. I mean, if we can analyze them for anything, or if they're just going to be used for smoothie recipes, I'll take ten. There is an analyzing machine here. See if they do anything. Or no, you can't analyze them, so they're just another food source. Uh, but that cause pain. That doesn't sound like a, a fun thing to eat. So I can't find any buttons that look like they move or change power. But the one that is interesting to me is there is one of these corridors where there was some... Was it inside here where there was some raw science like next to the wall? But there's no door. <laughs> where was it? I've got two on the radar. This is just the wrong way. That just goes back through. Which corridor was it? Like, it's a three... There. It's here. How do I get there? <laughs> There's no other doors that I've not paid attention to, is there? Uh, oh, I will take a bunch more of these slime mold things. I discovered a slime mold torch. Well, I think I've discovered a whole bunch of those, haven't I? I don't know. Right. Let's grab you. So, it's down... It's actually out to the left of here. I think I was going the wrong way. Yeah, it's like over here. Is there another roof compartment bit that I just haven't seen? That's the little glass bit where I lost my bag. I remember you. Didn't like you. I can hear it. It's like directly above me. Just in the mud. Is that a glitch or is it... Is there something else for me to find? I, I'm not 100% sure. I'm actually wondering whether it's just spawned in the wrong place. And I'm trying to find something that doesn't actually exist. But then some of the other ones have very awkward places to get to. I mean, the tree base had uh, like a whole bunch of things that were wrong with it. They had uh, all the little side bases and stuff you could go to. Have I gone and checked out back here at all? Let's go and check out. There was nothing going on around this little thing that we turn. Is there anything behind it? Doesn't look like it. Uh, yeah, I don't know, guys. Doesn't look like there's going to be anything else particularly interesting in this water. I, I, there's definitely something weird going on in that corner, which I can't work out. What are you? Oh, you're another water flea. And that's where the key was as well. And while I was looking for my cave system, I didn't come across a different one of these. So there must only be one on the roof that I can find anyway. Uh, there's definitely no extra buttons or things to push. In here, I can't do anything with any of you. There's another machine for analyzing. And that just spits you out back out into the pond. I don't know, there's there's I feel like there's more. There must be more to discover somewhere. 
And I just can't find... There must be one more of those little things dotted about somewhere, and I just cannot find it. Tadpoles having a good time. Uh, I still don't believe you can do anything with the ring. As far as I'm aware, you can't, like, take the diamond out and use that for something. Um... Oh, there's some more raw science somewhere. Oh, a spider's stuck in the ground. That's fine. I don't mind more stuck spiders. That's a weird patch of dirt. Is that just a texture issue? Or is there something secret? Oh, it's an algae. <laughs> I thought I found like a secret button or something to push. Uh, not my luck. Nope, nothing interesting there. And I think that raw science that it's indicating is just the same one that we found inside the base. Oh, no, there's another one here. Maybe this was it all along. I can't even collect it. Uh, hello? There we go. Maybe it was that all along. Maybe there wasn't something else. But there is definitely another thing somewhere because... We know there's something that will allow us to open that door. There must be a power switch or something somewhere. And I just can't find it. If any of you guys know, make sure you drop it down in the comments for me. You know, as I will spend hours <laughs> looking for... Well, a thing that might not even exist. No, in my luck, the developers haven't even added it in yet. And I've just been swimming around for no reason for a long time. But we have managed to achieve quite a lot today. We've managed to do the chest, which I'm really glad about. That came out of nowhere. That happened like in the first five minutes. I was expecting that to be most of the episode, just looking for that key. Uh, what's going on over there? Some sort of fish stuck together. Um, we found about five scabbies. We've had a, a really good time. In fact, I did remember there being one extra scabby that I didn't pick up. That uh, I don't know if it's an old one that I, I picked up originally or if they added it back in. If you remember quite a while back, I was uh, looking at the zip lines and they had sort of pre built existing zip line sections. And I did find while I was uh, waiting to go to sleep earlier on that there is actually another one that's been added to the top of the, uh, the sort of lantern thing where the fake zip line is. How do I get back out of here? Uh, so I'll go pick that one up and just check out what that looks like, and that'll be a nice way to end off. Uh, this episode, I'm sorry there's been a whole bunch of swimming in this episode, guys. I thought I was going to be uh, getting into all those little bases. I thought maybe there'd be something else uh, interesting going on there. I cannot get on this to save my life. <laughs> and there was a spider chasing me. I might actually be trying to save my life. Uh, right, there we go. Well done. Let's keep going for a wander over here. Of course, I've run out of water again. What else is new? I forget how bad the stats in this game just drop like anything. Although I am very glad they've changed it now to being that the... The water, when you run out of water, your stamina struggles. And when you run out of food is when your health struggles. So it, it doesn't just constantly pile up on your, uh, your health bar being damaged constantly and you didn't have to look after both. This way you can sort of decide which one you want to fill up if necessary more than others. Right, let's keep going. Oh, the stupid thing. <laughs> Again, stopped by everything. Right, let's grab some water. Water, water. That should help my stamina out a bit. Yeah, above this little lantern, there was another one. So we'll pick that one up as well. There's the thing. So yeah, I did create this ladder because I was trying to see whether you could attach things to the pre-existing zip lines. And uh, there is a little one that I think must be over here somewhere. Oh, I saw a little green flicker. There we go. Aerobics. Let's have a look what uh, aerobics looks like super quickly. I, I hate that that thing doesn't just stop at the bottom. I hate that it closes the menu. Aerobics. Ooh. That's not bad. Little uh, pinky, blue, purpley colour. That's quite nice. Let's keep with that one for a bit. They haven't changed these at all, have they? No, you can't sort of build anything with them or do anything superbly interesting with them. Um, oh, you've got a little glow on our scabby as well. That's quite nice. Uh, but yeah, guys, I think we'll call it there for a day. Um, I'm sorry I can't work out quite what to do with the rest of those bases. If, if anyone does know what to do with the rest of the bases, please drop it down in the comments and help me out and tell me that I've been a fool as you've 
probably already been watching this video screaming at me to just go up to the door. So there's me trying to find little cave systems. And that just wasn't what happened at all. Uh, but I hope you've all enjoyed today, guys. I'm so glad to be back and grounded doing some stuff. Uh, the next episode, we might be carrying on with the castle build to see if we can get that finished finally. After nearly like a year of building it in this game, it's taken forever to get that done. So make sure you subscribe to the channel just to keep up to date with all the videos as they are coming out. And if you did enjoy this one, make sure you leave it a like. I will see you all next time, guys. Bye-bye.